Okay, we're down here at the Peruvian Embassy with our host, Martha, and several other people. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Adelante. Buenas tardes. Hoy estamos, to como todos los viernes, frente a la Embajada de Perú. Today, like as we do every Friday, we're here in front of the Peruvian Embassy in Washington. Para decirles que no sean cómplices del genocidio, la dictadura que en nuestro pueblo en Perú está sufriendo a causa de esta señora Dina Boluarte que no nos representa, es una dictadora. To tell the people inside to stop collaborating with the genocidal dictatorship that was put in place by a coup d'etat and is being led by Dina Boluarte, who is committing terrible crimes. También pedimos urgente que renuncie, que renuncie porque ya no queremos que siga masacrando a nuestro pueblo que está en marchas pacíficas por todo el Perú. We are also asking Dina Boluarte to resign because her regime is massacring uh, numbers of Peruvians who are mobilized all throughout Peru. Las demandas que el pueblo en la calle pide, exige la libertad y restitución del de Pedro Castillo presidente. The people demonstrating in the streets and towns all over Peru have some basic demands. First, they demand the release and reinstatement of President Pedro Castillo. También que cierren el Congreso. Tenemos un Congreso el más mafioso del mundo. La prensa internacional lo sabe. They're also demanding that our Congress be closed. We have the most mafioso, corrupt Congress in the world, and the media knows this. También necesitamos una Asamblea Constituyente para que se pueda cambiar la constitución del Perú que no nos representa a los peruanos, solamente a una pequeña élite poderosa mafiosa. They're also demanding a constituent assembly so that we can get a new constitution. What we have now is a constitution that was drafted under the Fujimori regime that only benefits a small corrupt circle of people. Pedimos por favor a la comunidad internacional y también solidaridad, tenemos que seguir denunciando y pidiendo que no queremos interferencia extranjera, no queremos interferencia desde aquí con logística, con armamentos, no queremos, por favor, nuestro pueblo Aymara, Quechua y todas las mujeres y los pueblos vulnerados están sufriendo, nuestros niños. What we are asking of the international community here is solidarity. Please do not forget us. Show solidarity. Prevent international interference. We don't want interference in the form of sending weapons or logistics or any support for this corrupt, murderous regime. And we ask you to do so in solidarity and defense of the Quechua and Aymara, Aymara people who are being led by women in this resistance to this coup d'etat. Queremos la paz en nuestro Perú. Perú es zona de paz, de gente de paz. We want peace in our Peru. Peru is a zone of peace, people of peace. Thank you. So uh, the last time that I covered this subject was in December. So uh, the, the demonstrations are still going on and uh, I think at the time there was like 40 people that had been killed. So can you give us a little update of what's going on now? Bueno, la dictadura empezó en diciembre y estamos ahora abril. The dictatorship started in December. Now we're in the month of April. Eh, no pensamos que en nuestro Perú la dictadura y la, y la policía brutalmente ha asesinado a más de 70 personas civiles. We didn't think the dictatorship and the police would go on to do what they've done, which is to massacre over 70 peaceful protesters. Esa es la actualización de hoy. 
al mes de abril tenemos cientos y cientos de desaparecidos. That's where we are as of today in the month of April. We also have hundreds and hundreds of people who have been disappeared. Tenemos muchos heridos de gravedad que muchos de ellos a causa de la represión salvaje de la policía están muriendo. We also have many people who are very seriously injured because of the brutal savage repression of the police and they are in danger of dying. También tenemos muchos presos y presas políticas. Tuvimos una compañera, ella estaba en marchas pacíficas. We also have many political prisoners, both men and women. There is a, a woman leader who was involved in political and uh, peaceful demonstrations. Nuestras jóvenes universitarias han sido violentadas sexualmente. Nuestros jóvenes encarcelados, desaparecidos. Also, we've had uh, young university students who have been raped in captivity. We've also had young students, uh, peaceful protesters, who have disappeared in captivity. Entonces, le queremos decir que la, me la mediática monopolizada en Perú no dice la verdad. Tenemos más muertos, más heridos, desaparecidos, y, y por eso necesitamos la prensa alternativa como ustedes. So this is why we say that the very close corrupt media in Peru is not telling the truth. They want to keep this information from people. This is why we rely on you, alternative uh, media sources, to get out the truth about Peru. Por eso nosotros no podemos dejar de pronunciarnos y llevar la voz del pueblo. Aquí en Washington, D.C. estamos con muchas organizaciones. Ellos yes. That's why we can't stop talking out and speaking and, and uh, lifting up the voices of the people in resistance in Peru. And we're here in Washington and we have the support of lots of solidarity groups. Gracias, por favor. También necesitamos decirle que en Nueva York, en California, muchos estados y en muchos países de Europa y Suramérica también se están sumando en solidaridad con nuestro pueblo de Perú. We also want to let you know that there are solidarity activists in New York, in California, in several countries of Europe and several countries of South America who are standing up in defense of the peaceful people of Peru. Solamente para decirles un saludo a toda la solidaridad de los pueblos de Estados Unidos que nos apoyan por el amor por la paz, la justicia, estamos aquí presentes. We also want to give thanks to all the solidarity groups in the United States who are supporting the people in resistance in Peru with love, peace, and solidarity. Thank you. So, what do you know about the United States involvement in this coup? ¿Qué sabe usted del involucramiento de Estados Unidos en el golpe? Eh, eh, como sabemos en el mundo, eh, des, des, desgraciadamente el pueblo estadounidense, como nosotros hoy aquí en, calle, en la calle, solidarios, solidarios con el pueblo, pero el gobierno, el gobierno de Estados Unidos está siempre con la injerencia. Nosotros hacemos un llamado, no queremos injerencia, por favor. We know that the people of the United States are in solidarity with us, like they have been coming out in the streets here. But the government of the United States is always on the side of interference. That is what we are asking for, no more interference. Yes. So uh, are there having regular demonstrations in Peru as a general strike right now? Eh, en todo el Perú la gente se está movilizando, siempre hay marchas pacíficas. Throughout Peru people are continuously mobilizing, there are still lots of peaceful marches. Nuestros hermanos originarios de los pueblos en Perú están convocando marchas para la capital. Our brothers and sisters of the original peoples of Peru are calling for marches towards the capital. Eh, la prensa no dice nada, pero 
en realidad nuestros medios alternativos de comunicación en Perú todo el tiempo están en constant, nos dicen que están en constante movilización. The regular media says absolutely nothing about this, but the alternative media is there and are continuously supporting us and know that this mobilization is constant. Porque no olvidemos que en Perú existe ahora un estado de terror, un estado terrorista. Let us not forget that there is now a state of terror in Peru. We have a terrorist state. Entonces, por eso nosotros tenemos que seguir pronunciándonos aquí, en, aquí en Estados Unidos y en todo el mundo, los peruanos. That's why we have to continue to speak out against this here in the United States and throughout the world. Those of us Peruvians are speaking out. No nos imaginamos que en Perú, después que apresaron al presidente democráticamente ganado en urnas, Pedro Castillo, no pensábamos los peruanos que iba a llegar la dictadora asesina. En Perú, we never imagined that they would remove our democratically elected president. We never imagined that they would remove him and replace him with this dictator, Dina Boluarte, the murderer. Por eso exigimos justicia, porque no olvidamos de los años 90 de la dictadura de Fujimori. That's why we are demanding justice, because we cannot forget the years of terror in the 1990s under the Fujimori dictatorship. Por favor, sigan sumándose a la comunidad peruana, a los hermanos internacionalistas, a la comunidad de Estados Unidos, que también el sufrimiento nuestro también es el suyo. La solidaridad es solidaridad para todos. So we invite our brother and sister Peruvians who are outside the countries to, to outside of Peru, such as in the United States, to join us and to join the American people in expressing solidarity with the people of the Peru. It is our struggle. It is your struggle. Hayaya Peru, Causachu Peru. Gracias a todos las personas que aman la paz, la justicia. Long live Peru. And we thank everyone in solidarity who loves peace and justice. Okay, thank you. So, ¿qué es tu nombre? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Cecilio. Cecilio. Adelante. Cuéntenos por qué está aquí. Bueno, estamos acá frente a la Embajada del Perú para, siendo una protesta semanal todos los viernes, We're here in front of the Peruvian Embassy to do our, our weekly Friday demonstration. Estamos pidiendo puntos que el pueblo peruano está exigiendo en sus exigencias casi diarias desde el 7 de diciembre hasta el presente. And we are here to reinforce and echo the points being demanded by the Peruvian people, which have been consistent ever since December 7th. Pero el, pol el punto principal en este momento es que el presidente Castillo debe ser restituido porque los abogados internacionalmente han ganado el caso, tanto en la OEA como en la ONU. Es por eso que estamos aquí también presentes para apoyar estas resoluciones. But the main point of the people is that Pedro Castillo Castillo should be reinstated as president. And Castillo's lawyers have won this point in the UN and the OAS. They also have recognized that his rights have been violated. Pero, pero el problema es que la prensa oficial que está ligada a los grandes monopolios con el gobierno no da estas noticias a conocer el triunfo del presidente Castillo. Y aún más tratan de esconder las, movilización, las movilizaciones que el pueblo peruano está haciendo a diario. The problem is that the um, monopoly on the press, which is very close to the um, 
owners of the monopoly companies in Peru are not letting people know about Pedro Castillo's victory in the international organizations. And they're also not letting people know about the continuous peaceful demonstrations of people throughout Peru. Por último, podría decir que este, el pueblo tiene cuatro puntos, pero yo podría decir que se sumariza en uno solo, la libertad y la eh, reinstitución del presidente Castillo. So I could just remind you that the people of Peru demonstrating in the streets have four demands, but it really can be summarized in one. The release, or uh, freedom for, and reinstatement of President Pedro Castillo. ¿Y por qué digo eso? Porque al instalarse, al, al darse la libertad del presidente, tendría que ocuparse el sillón presidencial. Por lo tanto, Dina Baluarte tendría que ir directamente a la cárcel prácticamente. Dos, el presidente tendría que soplar simplemente o simplemente dar una empujadita al Congreso y también se va al segundo punto. Y por último, el presidente simplemente podría dar por decreto supremo que se empiece a hacer el referéndum para la nueva constitución, que son los cuatro puntos que se cumplirían. So, I say that it all can be summarized in one point, because if President Castillo is released, he would automatically uh, resume the presidency. And that would remove the usurper, the dictator Dino Boluarte. Also, the president wouldn't have to do much to dissolve Congress, which is now ha has no support. And uh, from there, go on to uh, call for a referendum on holding a constituent assembly. So that's how all of the points of the people could be accomplished just by releasing President Castillo. Okay. Ese sería mi punto de vista. Muchas gracias. Les agradezco a la prensa. That's my viewpoint. Thank you very much to the alternative media. Uh, hi, I'm Jill Clark Golub and I'm an activist with Friends of Latin America, and I've been accompanying this protest uh, most Fridays since uh, December 7th, and I'm also with the Nicaragua Solidarity Coalition. And so you wanted to ask me something about um, the influence that the United States is losing around the world. I'd be happy to ask what your specific question is. Do you feel positive? Do you feel more positive? You know, as far as like maybe an end to the empire? Oh, yeah. So you were you had mentioned that the majority of the world does not support the US and NATO proxy war in Ukraine. Um, yes, I think that uh, the demise of the empire that's caused so much damage around the world is good news for the people of the world. Hello, everyone. Hello. Martha with the DC branch of the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. We support democracy, peace and justice, and we are opposed to the United States supporting coup governments around the world, particularly in Latin America. It's important that we truly stand for democracy, which means the United States must not be supporting coup governments and putting elected leadership, elected presidents in jail. In Peru, they have not only jailed the elected president, but they have massacred Nonviolent protesters that are standing up for democracy and justice, many indigenous people. So what we're finding is the United States government is not only not supporting democracy, but is going after in indigenous leaders when they get any amount of power, they immediately move on them. And this is wrong. The people of the United States are in solidarity. We need to stand up. Unfortunately, in the corporate media, we don't get the information we need to be able to know what is truly going on. So 
We are grateful for the independent media and the people that do pay attention to what's going on. And we are in solidarity with you. Thank you for being here. Dina Asesina! Dina Asesina! Dina Asesina! Aló, aló. Okay, uh, amigos, compañeros, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here we are again, and we will not give pause to these demonstrations against the dictatorship in Peru, the civic military dictatorship. They have taken over and they have killed, massacred 70 people or more. They have hundreds in jail. They have the president of Peru democratically elected prisoner, incommunicado. They have, in fact, kidnapped the president. We want freedom for him. And we are here exercising our right to demonstration, not only in the United States, but in Peru, because the Constitution allows us to be not in obedience to the dictatorship and any administration that takes power in the way they did it. They respected no rights, no procedures in Peru, no congressional procedures, no constitutional rights, but even they took him prisoner to President Castillo when he was in fact immune to this such kind of actions. Two hours and a half after he read a manifesto, he was took in prison like he was an assassin or a terrorist, they stopped his caravan where he had his children and wife and pointing arms to him, they took him away two and a half hours after he ran. In the United States, the Capitol was assaulted over two years ago. There were six police members of the Capitol killed and hundreds of injured. The capital was destroyed, was assaulted. And President Donald Trump and his family is free to walk, even to be the next candidate and possible president of the United States of America. So what is different? That they try to follow here, especially for the powerful, a process. They have done so and they are actually trying to catch up with him with some arranged kind of uh, procedures after about 15 years or so about a porn star who was involved with something with President Trump. He, he, they are, they are trying to arrange anything and put the books on him for whatever reason. So they did in Peru, but they have him in jail. President Castillo has been given the reason by the international organizations, the OAS and the United Nations. We need Pedro Castillo to be put free immediately. And you, the officials who support this dictatorship, will be held accountable as well. Pedro Castillo, Libertad! My name is Paul Fitch. I'm a, a native of Washington, D.C. And I came to first know people suffering from U.S. imposed wars in Central America in the early 1980s. And I've engaged with people in various countries of Latin America who who are seeking to create new societies that are to the benefit of all, especially to the poor who, and the others who are excluded. 
So I ask that my country stop supporting movements, powers, uh, they exploit, that exploit and oppress people of so many nations of this world. And I ask that as we support the reinstatement and the freedom of President Ventura Castillo, that that would become a reality. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you here. Uh, everyone in solidarity with the people of Peru who are in resistance, in active resistance, setting an example for the world. Now it's been, uh, is it four months? It's been over four months since the coup d'etat, and the people of Peru are still mobilizing all over the country in peaceful resistance, simply demanding that they have the most basic democracy, that their vote in 2021 to elect one of their, their own, an indigenous rural school teacher, to be president of their country, be respected. Ever since he was elected, the traditional ruling elites of Peru undermined his authority and ultimately, a year and a half later, actually uh, perpetrated a coup against him. I'm here with a, a, an activist with Friends of Latin America, the Nicaragua Solidarity Coalition, and some other groups. And I just want to be sure that people understand how much this is related to the struggles of people in the United States and people around the world. First of all, the United States uh, government uh, supported this coup. If I don't know if they had the original idea for it, but I do know that the U.S. ambassador in Peru is a former CIA agent, which is coming to be more common practice, and that that ambassador met with the Peruvian military the day before the coup happened. And, uh, and also, I know that even though there were criticisms of Pedro Castillo, he was an inexperienced politician, and sometimes he, he thought that he could cede way to the right wing and they would allow him to govern. Unfortunately, that didn't work out so well for him. But one thing that he was doing, he was keeping some extractivist projects from moving forward. And there were some 30 extractivist pro projects that were not moving forward because uh, the president was not signing the papers or giving the go-ahead. And now, who do you think stood to benefit from those extractivist projects? Multinational corporations in Canada, the United States, and other places that have ties to the U.S. government. As we've seen since uh, throughout these 200 years of the Monroe Doctrine, which has its 200th anniversary in December, the United States is like the bully, like the hitman for U.S. companies. And this is no different from what's happening in Peru. And the people in Peru are standing up to not have their land um, mined and uh, have gas pipelines put in places that harm communities. This is the same fight that communities are he involved in in the United States against the fossil fuel industry. This is the same fight that uh, Native peoples in Canada and the United States are involved in. The struggle of the people of Peru for their land, for their indigenous rights, for their democracy is the struggle of all of us. And uh, our interviewer here was asking about uh, the signs of the demise of the U.S. empire, such as the fact that the majority of the world has refused to sign on to uh, support for the NATO-US proxy war in Ukraine and, and have refused to impose more sanctions on Russia, and whether that's a good sign for the peoples of the world. I would say that a blow to the empire is good for the people of the world. That's, that's, that, that's fairly clear. But as people in the United States, we must have solidarity for justice for the Peruvian people and we must recognize that we are all in the same struggle. We, and I congratulate you for breaking the media blockade to let people know, we've heard from our Peruvian brothers and sisters here repeatedly, that the media in Peru 
is a small monopoly that only reports what the oligarchs, what the corporate elites want the world to know. We need to have our own media, and thank you for doing this. Thank you, everyone, for, for coming out consistently to support our brothers and sisters, giving us the beautiful example of peaceful resistance in Peru for all of these months. So, long live Peru! Que viva Peru! Ayaya Peru! Ayaya Peru! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! ¿Se escuchan? Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Castillo Libertad! Now, why, do we ask, why do we ask the freedom of President Castillo? The people of Peru have declared themselves as an insurgency according to the Article 46 of the 1993 Constitution and in accordance to Article 307 of the Constitution of 1979. So, we have the right to be in Peru and in here in disobedience to this government. They have usurped, they have taken up the government illegally. They, it is a dictatorship and the international organizations in human rights have accused them of outright executions killing of people, actually about 70 of them. In addition, they perpetrated a criminal act in putting down the demonstrations of the people who rightly and in accordance to the law have declared an uprising, a protest around the country. And we are here in solidarity with them, like we are in New York, in Canada, California, in Europe, we stand up and we ask President Castillo to be free. Castillo, libertad! Castillo, libertad! Castillo, libertad! Now, we want to say that President Castillo had the opportunity to close the damn Congress in Peru the one that obstructed every minute its administration since the time it took power in July 28, 2021. Every single minute, every single day, they obstructed the government. But in addition, they made sure that he was surrounded by spies and detractors. And so they did. They encircled him, the administration. They set up even finding $20,000 in the bathroom of a, the secretary to the presidency. This kind of actions demonstrates only that coming out from Holy Week in the United States and the uh, Catholic war, we know what denying is, not only three times, but a thousand times about a master or about a friend. And we know what is like Judas stabbing in the back. That is the reality in Peru, sponsored and promoted by a neoliberal system that wants everybody to become rich regardless of morals and ethics and rewarding the, what they call investments, foreign investments from multinational corporations, the ones that they said will ensure the development of Peru. For 500 years, our nations have allowed the extraction of minerals, gold, silver, copper, and now I have news for you. They also say lithium in Bolivia, in per, in close to Bolivia, in Puno, and surrounding areas in Peru. They don't say 
that there is also uranium. Plenty of it. So, what is the fight about it? Why was the coup against President Castillo? It's called mineral resources. And it's called trying to protect the hegemon in the area. And we say to the Peruvian people, watch out with the American Lithium Corporation. It's a Canadian concern. A Canadian who is associating with a Makusani yellow cake, they call it. They only talk about this last one, but not about the other ones. So, we are in the fight in Peru to recover our independence and sovereign rights to develop our natural resources, like in the way that Mexico and Bolivia are doing, not being subservient to these foreign interests, but developing, developing our own industry. They said we are too stupid to do it. We are too silly. We are too far behind because our people are not educated. Stupid are the ones who think like this. They are talking about an extraordinary civilization that built Karal, one of the oldest civilizations and pyramids in the world. We are talking about the Nazca lines, the people who drew the Nazca lines. We were far in advance with many civilizations. We are talking about the constructors of the Machu Picchu, such like woman. So our people are not stupid and we don't need the technology so-called and so intelligent on the smart people from the multinational corporations. We need their help, perhaps, but we need to be on our knees to do it and get our resources plundered. So this is our real fight. This is why we are up in protest here and around the world and in Peru. And that's why 70 people have died in Peru. President Castillo had the opportunity to close the damn Congress. Here in the United States, Mr. Donald Trump orchestrated the assault of the Capitol. And where people dead, police dead, there were hundreds of injured and destructions of the Capitol. In Peru, nothing occurred. Absolutely nothing. He read a comunicado. Yes. But they broke no law because nothing happened after he read. And different than it happened here, two years and a half or two more than more than two years since the capital in the United States was destroyed and people dead. President Donald Trump is free and perhaps the next president of the United States. In Peru, two and a half hours later, when he read and nothing occurred, no uprising, no mobilizations, they detained him. And we cannot allow this, our friends. We will not allow it. So, pedimos la libertad inmediata del presidente Castillo. Castillo, libertad! Castillo, libertad! Castillo, libertad! Dina, asesina, you have the days counted, tienes los días contados. The international organizations, las Naciones Unidas, the OAS, can we trust them? I ask, can we trust the United Nations? Can we trust the Organization of American States? Hell no! That's why we are here. We are going to make sure that they act on what they have find out that there was an illegal takeover of the president's administration. So, we want OAS, United Nations, to understand that we hold them accountable if they persist in maintaining and supporting this genocidal government, which they call it themselves a genocide uh, dictatorship. Here, uh, 
What is that? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. For the support. My dear friends, be aware Thank that while everybody. this government says they are proud of Machu Picchu, they are proud of the Nazca Lines, however, they give hell and they betray the builders, the descendants of the builders. It is a racist government, a racist dictatorship. Anything that looks like folklore and the end, people, they will call them terrorists, jihadists in Peru, and we cannot accept that. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much to uh, uh, the, support. the uh, free press, because these things do not come on the media anywhere. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye.